I'm Ian Lampert, this is 3P Speech, and we're here to talk about how to judge impromptu. Impromptu speaking is a limited preparation event. Competitors are given a number of topics, have a short amount of time to prepare for a speech on one of them, and then up to five minutes to deliver that speech. So, let's say that you're given an impromptu ballot. The first thing you want to do is check the prompts. Each round will be centered around one of four topic areas. First, there are quotes. These can be proverbs like, he who can lick can bite. Lyrics, money can't buy me love. Or traditional citations such as, if you're going through hell, keep going. Second, you might see abstract nouns. These include words like love, victory, wonder, fearlessness, soul, and obsession. Third, there are concrete nouns. Car, desk, chair, country, tomato. Fourth, you could see topics of current interest, such as Justin Bieber, Barack Obama, the Israel-Palestine conflict, the 2013 Oscars, the midterm elections, and Warren Buffett's tax proposal. So now they've got their prompts. As soon as they start looking at their options, start timing them. Depending on the state you're in, the speaker has anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 minutes to prepare a speech centered around one of their three options. During this time, they're free to jot down notes, or talk to themselves, or pace around the room, and unless you think they're acting in an exceptionally strange or awkward manner, consulting other contestants, for example, or looking at printed materials, you shouldn't factor their manner of preparation into your ultimate decision. Once their prep time is up, they'll stand in the center of the room and they'll wait for your go-ahead. You should be clear on their choice of topic, so if you're not sure what they chose, pass them. Now please note, while impromptuers are allowed to bring up their prompt, they shouldn't use it, and they shouldn't use anything else as a prop. Additionally, if they bring up notes, and others in the room do not bring up notes, those relying on notes as a crutch should be marked down. Now the speaker is going to have five minutes to speak. You should be looking for two main things during these five minutes. First, clarity of structure. And second, clarity of examples. We'll walk through them one at a time. There is a five-point structure that the vast majority of impromptuers use. They'll start off with an attention-getting device, or AGD. This can be a number of things. A personal anecdote, a song, a joke. The options are limitless. But the AGD should make you interested in what they have to say, and it should dramatically connect to their interpretation of the topic, which they should next transition to. Now, this doesn't have to be a complex interpretation, but because they can take what they're given any number of ways, looking at a concrete noun as a metaphor, or discussing its literal denotation, agreeing or disagreeing with a quote, or what have you, there's no hard and fast rule for how they should approach the topic. But, their interpretation should be as clear as possible. It's their job to make their stance make as much sense as they can. Then, they should give you a similarly clear roadmap. They should introduce the points that they're going to discuss throughout their speech. You'll probably see them go through two or three relevant examples. Now, once they're done given that roadmap, and once they've gone over those examples, they should summarize their speech demonstrate how they prove the validity of their interpretation, and return to their introduction, or AGD. It's the same as a five-paragraph essay, essentially. Now let's move to the kind of examples they can use. Impromptuers tend to support their interpretations with historical analysis, political facts, summaries of films and TV shows and books, philosophical principles, and more. And they can talk about whatever they like. But ideally, the examples should do three things. First, support their thesis, second, inform you, and third, entertain you. If the examples don't connect to the thesis, it's kind of like being given a specific prompt for homework and deciding to write about a different subject altogether, like doing a different assignment. If the speech doesn't inform you or entertain you, then there's no reason to prefer it over another speech that does leave a lasting impression, that does stick with you. Naturally, you should factor delivery into your decision. 
Speakers are allowed to be as dry or as theatrical as they want, but their tone should match the seriousness of their topic. Also, too much or too little movement is problematic. Ideally, competitors should use the speaker's triangle, which means that they'll start off speaking in the center, uh, they'll move to the right for their first example, move to the left for their second example, go to the back for their third, and then move back to the center for their conclusion. Bad eye contact, awkward pauses, filler words, stuttering, and so on are all reasons to mark competitors down. Ideally, an impromptu speech should connect to the topic at hand so well, with such good and specific supporting examples and analyses, and grab your attention so effectively that you could swear it was scripted, but it isn't. I hope this helped any curious judges out there. If you like it, be sure to check out our other videos. I'm Ian Lampert. This is Three Piece Speech. Thanks for your time.